uh, we'll go step by and then we go to network part and we will choose the bridge adapter so this VM bridge adapter means this VM uh, will get IP from DHCP on the same LAN where we have this uh, operating system running we will see after installation uh, which IP we will get from DHCP so we will see this uh, startup screen uh, after post it in it will uh, load the Oracle Linux installer it will take while to check the post configuration So it will check the media where we are installing Oracle Linux. So I, I know I, I did installation before many times using this media. So I know this media is uh, okay. So I just uh, press the skip button and move forward. We have uh, wait for some time. We will not do anything. Now we have to choose the language. We choose English and continue. Uh, these are uh, part of installation uh, localization, software selection, installation source. Uh, first, we will do software selection. Uh, software selection we will do based on Oracle 12C requirement. And there is some prerequisite packages we need to uh, install. Uh, before installation of Oracle 12C, let uh, choose the software selections, and uh, we will also uh, our base environment will be the server with GUI, not as a mini minimal install by default actually. So we selected these packages one by one: Java platform, file, and performance tool, and also uh, compatibility compatibility libraries development tools that's it after that we will press uh, done and our software selection is completed now we have to choose uh, installation source where we are installing all uh, operating system uh, packages and uh, operating system uh, this is our local zone uh, you can choose from here and either when you load the operating system you can choose from there and you can change later but I choose uh, Dubai done then uh, installation source is our disk and installation destination is our virtual disk which we created 40 GB so it will uh, we will use automatic uh, partition method uh, linux is a good feature to uh, give you uh, automatic partition if you want to make customization custom partition you can make and uh, now we need to choose the host name i choose aura 12c dot this is my domain apply and then we will configure the network adapter and we choose the IPv2 and we select DHCP it will get IP from DHCP and most cases in production environment we have to uh, assign static IP not uh, from DHCP so that's it uh, this IP I uh, DCP assigned to me 10.10.85.127 10 
that's it then we need to close and done and all selections is completed we start begin to install and while installation process uh, we can also uh, set root password of the Oracle Linux if you want to create uh, one more user on Oracle Linux accept root you can create and I just put the root password it will take 30 to 35 minutes to complete all installation of Oracle Linux you will uh, notice there is uh, two mouse pointer one mouse pointer is for the base operating system one is a virtual uh, our virtual machine so it should be sync while selection any uh, option on uh, VM level or base operating system level So it done, it asking the reboot, we have to reboot, click on reboot, it will take few seconds. It will take post routine, then it will load the operating system. hit enter or wait for 30 second it's loading 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 few seconds to load the default profile of the operating system users and it will give us a genome uh, interface uh, so uh, we need to also uh, check uh, accept the license Oracle license Oracle uh, Linux is a free software but we have to purchase the software support it depends on you if you want software support you have to uh, you buy from Oracle is annual sports subscription done and that's it finish configuration So we got the desktop GUI interface. In first time loading, it will ask the language, it will ask the location, it will ask if you want to uh, set up your Google account or other account. So I will choose uh, no off time zone. I will choose Dubai already selected online resources so I can create one more user I will put my name full name or server name you can put and you can create one more user default user accept root user 
so we will have two user one is root one is hayat so I will set password for hayat user and so we are ready to go I'll get the desktop As we know, our uh, Oracle VM uh, is connecting to the network, connected to the network, and uh, we al also have uh, IP uh, getting from DHCP. Uh, we can use uh, PuTTY or any secure shell SSH client uh, to access this VM uh, to make uh, easy. Uh, because I already uh, put all step in my you know text file so I will take a step and uh, copy paste then uh, uh, it will easy to uh, run and uh, we will do fastly so let's close uh, this asking the documentation this is a very good documentation for Oracle 7 if you want to go through this video I will recommend go through this video and to uh, get more understanding of Oracle Linux so I will close that's it so now I log in to the Hayat user uh, so as I mentioned uh, I will open PuTTY uh, you can see the terminal uh, open the terminal and you can check the host name it is there we did this and we can check the IP 